All right, how's it going today? So I thought I'd have a little chat with y'all to be mindful, and there's something that we all need to do, okay? Because, yes, the things that you say and do can be held against you. Uh, I made a video not too long ago about California, okay, limiting lyrics, rap lyrics, so they won't be used against like a rapper that's if he end up being indicted, okay? Or, you know, be brought in for some type of maybe alleged uh, crime or murder. That is somewhat of a valid point, but yes, okay? If, it, if need be, those things can be held against you, if need be. That being said, all right, if you guys are in the know, especially, you know, uh, let's say you are fan, uh, fans and it's not good to be a fan of the, uh, of the hip hop community, all right, or, but particularly uh, you, or maybe uh, you know the rapper Young Thug, all right, which I'm pretty, at times I don't think he knows what he wants to be, what he wants to be a man or woman. Uh, and this YSL, YSN case out there in Atlanta, okay? Uh, this is something I've never seen before, but particularly like in Atlanta. I didn't even hear anything this big even with Big Meech, okay? So, uh, that be, I've been seeing these different podcasts about Lyrics that uh, the rapper Young Thug made, okay, something to the effect where F them, the F them E ends, okay, F the 12, all right, when they talk about 12, that's the jury, all right, and F the police. Something to the effect where if I didn't do it, I had something to do to do with it, blase, blase, okay. So, no, I didn't write it all down, but if you look at the, the video yourself, or if you heard the song and you can write the lyrics down yourself, you see somewhat of what I'm ta talking about, okay? So I'm giving you a non-verbatim, and the judge is over here reading this off, okay? So uh, he's going through like a pre-indictment right now, and he's going to go through a series of drama-like trials during the month of February, okay? So that's going to be uh, the meat of this case during, for some reason during February, why they got the Super Bowl going on, the NBA All-Star break going on the middle of February, and they even got the NHL All-Star break uh, going on, all right? They have these activities, and this case, which is a distraction, while Congress is going to be changing laws right up on your nose, Okay? So while these activities are going on, you really want going on to the left, you need to look to your right and you need to watch your current events, okay? Potential war uh, ruin between U.S. and China, those type of things. But I digress, okay? And although the courts really can't use those to convict because they're not sure of who they're talking about, but these judges and all that, and the jury and the law enforcement, they're not stupid, okay? When they make, these rappers make comments like that, okay? Like, they're not talking directly, but they're talking about, okay? That goes to show that there's no remorse or no regard for the judicial system. And although they cannot, I don't think, charge, unless they flat out said, what they are, uh, who they uh, did, or what they did, or who they did it to, or what judge, or what, I don't know, other victim, and so forth, okay, uh, or whatever rival, all right, but you know what, they could use this, when I say that, the, what is it, Fulton County, all right, the judicial system could use that against them if they need any help, okay, if he needs, you know, want to consider having any, uh, I don't know, like uh, leniency, 
okay? I'm going to tell you something. Upon a conviction, okay, and trust me, they're going to use everything. Uh, evidence, witnesses, all right, testimonies from all those families. You know, there were 50 people, uh, excess of 50 people end up dying of the hands of, of those groups, whether yeah, directly, indirectly. I'm pretty sure kids, all right, you got these families, you got mothers, spouses, okay, uh, grieving, okay, over over these lost people, okay, uh, the, uh, the fallen in the hands of this group. So, yeah, they're going to look at everything, all right, uh, testimonies. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a, a line around the doggone court, around the block of testimonies, okay. So, they're going to use that, and then... I don't know if people know that there's also a formula of variables that they use for sentencing, okay? Like things like uh, age, uh, that type of thing. Has Have they been in any trouble? Is there any good things that they've done, okay? When I say trouble, I mean like uh, criminal history, that type of thing, maybe family background of this, okay? A lot of variables, all right? So I know that from learning from like criminal justice, all right. And also, I was a police chief that was a uh, chief of uh, the L.A. police at the time that uh, Tookie Williams had uh, was going through the, uh, uh, death row when he was in jail and broke these things down. These three factors, type of offense, the gruesomeness of it, lack of remorse. That's what I'm talking about, the lack of remorse. And that's what those uh, comments basically say, a lack of remorse. So when they want to sentence him, and if they probably look at giving him leniency, let's say, okay, hypothetically, he gets like, okay, they say 50 years, okay, hypothetically. And they'll say, well, we'll say 30 instead, okay? Well, they don't have to. They'll look at, okay, well, these, they show a, uh, those uh, lyrics show like uh a disregard for law enforcement. Okay, well, we're going to give him 50 years. He's going to say this, we're going to do this. Okay? All right? So they don't necessarily have to take away. All right? They could add all those years, and they don't have, they do not have to do it. They, they don't have to let him out. And this course, is, this court, is, this case is going to go on, they say, could go on up to, up to a year. Now, you know what I think is going to happen, no matter what I feel about this man? Okay, and what I told you about, you see him smiling in, in court, he'll probably end up beating the case with time served, a year and a half, maybe two years, because number one, he's a Mason and he's got the cash and credit to do it. And just because he, even if he does beat the case, his conditions are going to be fairly shitty. And that don't mean that it's right at all, okay? Because in the end of the day, you need to look at the carnage, okay? He needs to look at the carnage, all right, from all the turmoil that he's caused in, in the city of uh, the greater Atlanta area. So, yes, what you can inevitably will be say, uh, say, uh, used against you, all right, maybe not directly but indirectly. And what comes out, what does not come out in the wash does come out in the rinse. So let me know what you think about the video. Thank you for your time. Like, subscribe, share, cash app dollar. Sign Winston Spivey if you want to donate.